Mal's on the final puzzle. This is puzzle 100 on depiction. I was talking about it yesterday on the vlog. And this one doesn't show you what it's supposed to be. No, none of them do. Oh, none of them do. Like, see, that's as far as I've done. Oh, okay. And I have no mistakes. So, I can, I'm working on the red puzzle, so I have light and dark red. And then I can switch to yellow and do all the yellow and then blue. And as I do them, they start to show up on the top left, which is the combination of all of them. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Mal's done 99 of these things. And it is time for the very, very last one, which is cool. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday. Okay. It's Thursday. There we go. Uh, getting ready to heat up some quinoa. Gonna have some more of the uh, the Mexican quinoa tonight as it is delicious. Uh, also think I'm going to record a little bit of uh, Grandpa's Game Garage tonight as well um, because we're, we're realizing that next week is Thanksgiving. Uh, we don't have any Game Garage for next week and Dan's gonna need time to get some of it, get it done before he goes out of town to spend time with his family next week. It's gonna be different because I'm actually going to record it on the couch, I think. Um, it would be best to record it at the computer in the same setup that we've done it. Um, but it's such a pain in my butt to move things from one side of the room to another and to change up all the cables. I don't have a permanent setup for that desk thing. It, and it's a pain. I've talked about it before, so I won't go into it, but it's, it's a huge pain. Right now, everything is set up for the couch, including a green screen behind the couch. So I'm thinking about just doing it on the couch. It's not impossible. It will, it'll look a little different. It'll sound a little different, but it's fine. Like it's still the same series and it won't be like that forever. But while I'm trying to also play Skyrim every Friday for however long, and I've got everything set up. I'm like, I'm just gonna leave it alone and not worry about dragging things across the room and back again. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. And uh, I actually got something that I, I don't know it's gonna work yet. I'm gonna try it out. It's, it's a good idea. Chaz had the idea of getting a lime green blanket and putting the blanket over the back of the couch. So then you would it would blend seamlessly into the green screen. We'll see how it works. The, the problem that I could foresee is highlights and shadows on the blanket, but it might be fine. It might be fine. I don't know, but I'll, I'll discover that once I give it a shot. I need to record at least one week uh, for next week, obviously but two weeks might be better, just so then we would make sure that we were covered um, the week after as well. And then by that point, maybe I'll be ready to return everything to the normal setup, I don't know. Okay, so I just finished recording Garage. Um, I guess I gotta turn these lights back on to really show you how well this works. Now turn this back off again. And yes, I'm still running the stupid AC as we enter into December because the high today here was 76 degrees, of course. So anyway, let me show exactly what this looks like. Uh, here, green screens behind me as I showed off the other day for Skyrim. Here's that blanket and it works pretty well. In fact, it's it. I'm a little surprised at how well it works. And you can you can see that there is gradation, right? Like there's, you know, there's stuff that is brighter or darker. I guess you could probably make it a little bit better by like trying to fold, like pet it down. But it doesn't seem to be a problem. My test was just doing, um, just opening it up in OBS and seeing how OBS interprets it. And OBS does a really good job. Check this out. So uh, yeah, as you can see, not bad. I, I probably look a little dead because of the uh, the color, because the color is a little different. But um, yeah, obviously it's uh, it having the yellow on my shirt. It, the yellow is kind of gone, but that's something that uh, 
in post, Dan will probably be able to fix just fine. But yeah, it I'm kind of blown away at how well it works. My big concern uh, had been that there was going to be um, uh, there was going to be shadows like here, and there really isn't because that's where the light is coming from. So it's killing all those shadows. And like you get shadows under your arm, but my arms are usually together whenever I'm playing the game. So um, yeah, it actually looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Also, you can wrap yourself up in it, and it's an invisibility cloak as a little bonus. So I was I was impressed. Um, I did uh, I did two weeks of game garage, so we cover Thanksgiving week and then also the week after, and uh, you know it's gonna look a little different because it's a different camera. Um, it's also gonna look a little different because I'm on the couch, and it's gonna sound a little different because I I decided not to use a headset. I decided to use the boom mic. And you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's the same series. The uh, the alterations between the audio and the video are minor, and it'll be fine. And uh, this is actually, this would be fun uh, to kind of experiment and see if it ends up being better than how we were doing it, you know? Um, and I don't know. Maybe. One of the things that is nice is it's nice to not have to wear a headset, because normally I have the big bulky headset on, and... I don't have that, you know, in this setup. So we'll see. We'll see what it looks like, what it sounds like, and, um, you know, what Dan thinks in regards to editing it and if he thinks the quality is, you know, an increase over what we were doing. But, um, yeah, it's certainly more convenient. I'll tell you that much. Like, the fact that I already have everything set up for streaming here on the couch and that if I really want to, you know, do something on a green screen, I can just pull the green screen up here and throw this on the, the pillows and I'm done, mm, that's a huge incentive because uh, one of the biggest barriers for doing things is setup, you know? And the fact that it takes half an hour uh, or more to like get things set up in order to actually do a stream over there, like that's a hindrance. So this is kind of nice. I'm just saying that I'm I very well may do the first 20 stream, the next first 20 stream from the couch. Because this setup works pretty good. Anyway. All right. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to test this out a little bit more and see how I feel about it. But if I end up liking it and it works well, I'll put this very specific uh, fleece blanket on the uh, the little Amazon storefront that we have where we sit, we have all our products. Um, I just want to make sure it's going to work. But it seems, I mean, it, I got the color pretty well, you know? Like, I just eyed it online, and I was like, that looks like it's probably pretty close. And it was. So, I'm excited. All right. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?